ridiculous. This is guard to guard right here. Just switch this screen. What you the Celtics do absolutely nothing about this screen. So you're running a layup line. Absurd. You cannot leave Drew Holiday on an island guarding Embiid in the post. As soon as he dribbles the ball, stop. Jason Tatum's got to come down and help. And then you're going to rotate. You're going to rotate. And Tatum's going to go to the weak side of the floor. You can't honestly think single teaming Embiid with Drew Holiday. In the gaps. If you're Jalen Brown, stop. I got to be over here. In the gaps. My feet set. I can stunt. I can recover. I got to get this dribble picked up. Jalen Brown's going away from that gap area. Down in here. Stunt. Recover. Your feet are set. <laughs> Again, this is another. E Stop letting Joel Embiid isolate in the post. Just get down. And then Porzingis is up. And you're rotating. And then you're going to rotate. And here's where Jalen Brown comes. To the weak side of the floor. Hop. Okay, if you're Jalen Brown, as soon as Joel Embiid tries crossing the free throw line, you got to get low and battle for position. You, like, you're just letting Joel Embiid stop. Like, now he's in the paint. It's over. So Patrick Beverly goes up with this three. Joel Embiid's hanging out in the charge circle. You have no chance. Why does Boston keep letting this happen? Just double, and then you're going to rotate. You'll be fine, and Jalen Brown comes here. It's easy to double isos. Why? You do not guard above the three-point line if you're Al Horford. Again, you got a mismatch. Paul Reed's going up against Drew Holiday down low. Stop! If you're Al Horford, get down in here so Drew Holiday can force Paul Reed. I can dig in the post. I can recover. You're out past the three-point line, and now Drew Holiday's left on an island. Drew Holiday's got to get down here, okay? Like right here, all right? My feet are set, so I'm going to get this dribble picked up. I'm going to stunt. I'm going to recover. I'll be just fine. You, it, Tobias Harris can't have his dribble alive still because now Peyton Pritchard's coming over to help, and no. Eh. Get it figured out in transition. Is Drew Holiday coming this way? Then he's got to take the ball so Peyton Pritchard can get over here. Why is Drew Holiday going to center court? Okay, and now when he comes over here, I got to take the ball. Pritchard's got to come this way. I mean, wait, boy, is that awful. Now you got to contest. There's no one to box out, Reed. Transition defense. You just get to the nearest body. If you're Porzingis, it's right here. Okay, this is where you're going. Tatum's coming this way. Stop worrying about half-court matchups. You just get to the nearest body. Porzingis is getting to a random spot on the floor, trying to find get matched up. Now Maxie's open for three. Not uh, stand in the middle of nowhere in transition. I got to communicate. If Al Horford's going to get back here and take and beat, I got to say something so Drew Holiday knows to go this way. Again, you're standing in random spots on the court. Why do the Celtics have problems here? It's guard to guard. Just switch. Again, the Celtics do nothing about a ball screen. It's unbelievable. It cannot happen at the end of the quarter. The Celtics finally switched. Okay, stop. So, Drew Holiday here. You're giving Tyrese Maxey this angle right here. Now, Derek White's got to stay here with his back to the baseline. He does not do that. So, that's a problem. But Drew Holiday's got to get his hands off Tyrese Maxey. See, where's Derek White? Back to the baseline. So now we're just, Tyrese Maxey's coming this way. There's no place to go. But you got your hands on Tyrese Maxey. That allows him to spin off. Of course, Jalen Brown doesn't rotate to the ball and get in the gaps. And this is a ridiculous two points to give up. Again, Al Horford's got to rotate to the ball right here. The ball gets swung. I'm not standing. I'm over here now, okay, with my feet set. I'm level to Embiid. See, Al Horford doesn't move until now the ball, Tyrese Maxey's got it and is gone. So now you're moving towards the ball as the pass is getting kicked out. You're not going to be able to get out. Pump fake, open jumper. Shot has gone up. There's too many Celtics players standing and watching. Get Someone's got to start to get back the second that shot goes up. It's going to happen every single time. Rebound, throw it down court. No one's back. Embiid. Why in the world is Al Horford playing off Embiid? You have, have Derek White is right here. Up, force him in to help. By the way, Drew Holiday's all the way over here helping you. Why would you get <laughs> Al Horford has got to get up on Embiid up. Okay. Now guys have got to rotate to the ball up. Okay. What Jason Tatum can't guard like this. He's got to be over in the gaps. Jalen Brown rotate to the ball in the gaps, but Al Horford's got to get up. This is absurd. You're Al Horford. The second Joel Embiid tries to come in the paint, I got to get over and get low and battle. See, Al Horford's just letting Joel Embiid just get right in the paint. Now you're sealed. Pass it over the top. 
catch, turn, two. Defending off an offensive rebound is just like transition defense. You just got to get to bodies right here. Jason Tatum can't stand in the middle of nowhere. I got to get over here and find somebody to guard. I mean, Jason Tatum, you're, you, what are you doing? Again, the Celtics have a very interesting ball screen defense, which is there is no ball screen defense. Just switch this. Al Horford can get up. You have gap help right here with Porzingis. Pritchard's going to get low. He's going to battle, okay? Jason Tatum can pinch in. You can send an immediate double team if the ball gets down there, okay? But let's see what this ball screen defense is. Oh, okay, let's run a layup line. So first of all, this is why you need to switch because if Peyton Pritchard gets underneath on this switch, this gap is closed. But Porzingis has got to get up here. Drew Holiday wants to help this way. So I got to get up and force Maxi into this help. I mean, Peyton Pritchard's beginning underneath and in the gaps. He's not. You got to force him where Drew Holiday is. I don't know why Porzingis is not forcing Tyrese Maxey this way. There's no place. Now, Sam Hauser's going to get his back to the baseline here. Okay, but this is where your help is. But if you are going to send him towards this area of the floor, Drew Holiday can't leave. I mean, Tyrese Maxey's coming this way. Porzingis is giving this to him. Okay, I'm either going to be able to help, and then we can rotate, we can rotate, we can rotate. Okay, I don't know. But you got to be there. Yes. This is a good double team, but you're going to have to rotate. The second Al Horford comes over here, Jalen Brown's got to move. And then Derek White moves, and Jason Tatum moves, and this is where Horford goes. But let's see. You don't even get the first rotation right. Cannot scram switch from Al Horford right here, okay? Derek White's got to take Joel Embiid. Drew Holiday should be playing at the three-point line because he's going to want to double the second that ball gets down there. Okay, but you can't have Al Horford trying to scram switch. <laughs> if you're Jason Tatum, where is your help here? Drew Holiday is right over here. So I want to get over and force Embiid this way. Drew Holiday can stunt. He can recover. You're letting Joel Embiid go away from where your help is. I mean, I guess Porzingis is coming to double. Well, he needs to be sprinting out here, and Tatum's got to be forcing Embiid into this double team. This is horrible defense.